Monster flat screen mounts are safe, secure, and easy to install. Following are complete instructions for mounting your flat screen TV. Hi, I'm Lindsay Brooks with Monster Cable, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to install the Monster flat screen super thin articulating mount. We're going to install a medium super thin articulating mount. This mount is designed for flat panel TVs from 27 to 46 inches wide and weighing less than 80 pounds. These instructions are for wood stud mounting. For instructions on mounting on brick, concrete, or other masonry, please refer to the detailed manual on this website. If you're not sure about your wall construction, you should consult an installation contractor. Before starting, read all warnings and cautions in the detailed manual you can find on this website. Then read the pre-installation checklist to make sure you've selected the ideal location for your flat panel TV. Let's take a look at what you need for a safe, secure installation. Your first step will be lining up a friend to help you with the installation. Then you'll need the following tools. An electric hand drill, a 3 16th inch drill bit, an electronic stud finder, a level, a straight edge or ruler, a Phillips head screwdriver, a wrench or socket set, masking tape. First, decide where you want to mount your TV. To locate a wall stud, hold the stud finder against the wall where you want to mount your TV. Push down the button on the stud finder and slide the stud finder along the wall until the indicator light goes on. Position the supplied cardboard template over the stud and tape the template to the wall with masking tape. Make sure the template is level by using the supplied bubble level. With your electrical drill and 3 16th inch bit, pre-drill a 3 inch deep hole where it's indicated on the template. After drilling holes, remove the template from the wall. Remove the plastic covers on the wall mounting plate. Position the wall mounting plate over the holes drilled in the wall stud. Now make sure the wall plate is level by using the supplied bubble level. Place the level on the wall and confirm that the wall plate is horizontally straight. Hold the plate firmly in place. Attach the wall plate to the wall using the lag bolts and round washers. Tighten each bolt with your wrench. Replace the plastic covers on the wall mounting plate. Now that the wall plate is securely mounted, we're going to attach the TV mounting brackets to the back of the flat screen TV. Before we move to this step, make sure your TV is unplugged before threading any bolt or screw into the back panel. Lean your TV against a wall so it remains vertically upright. Never lay your TV face down. This can cause permanent damage. Two mounting brackets are included with your mount. Arrange the brackets on the back of your TV as follows. Place the top bracket toward the top of your TV with the straight edge of the bracket oriented towards the top of your TV. The Allen bolt should be on the top of the bracket. Place the bottom bracket toward the bottom of your TV with the straight edge of the bracket oriented towards the bottom of your TV. The Allen bolt should be on the top of the bracket. Remove the Allen bolts from the lower bracket. You'll put them back when you attach the TV to the pivot arm. 12 sets of screws of different sizes are included with your mount. Match the screws to the holes in the back of your flat panel TV to select the correct set. Locate the threaded inserts on your TV's back panel. Thread a screw from the set by hand into one of the inserts to ensure it is the correct choice. By hand, thread the screws through the rectangular washers and the mounting brackets, mounting holes into the four TV inserts. Now do the same for the lower bracket. With a Phillips screwdriver, tighten down the screws so the mounting brackets are securely attached to the TV. Be careful though not to over tighten the screws. Check the level with the supplied mini bubble level. With the help of another person, lift your TV up to the mount level. 
raise the TV just above the vertical bar at the end of the articulating arm. Now, hang the brackets from appropriate keyholes on vertical bar depending on bracket spacing and desired height. Use the supplied Allen key to tighten the Allen bolts to attach your TV to the articulating arm. Once you've mounted the TV, you can easily adjust the flexibility of the tilt mechanism. Replace the Allen bolts that you removed earlier on the lower bracket. Tighten them with the Allen key to attach the TV to the end of the pivot arm. Once you've mounted the TV, you can easily adjust the flexibility of the tilt mechanism. Use the supplied Allen key and hex wrench to adjust the bolts on the side of the articulating arm where it connects to the center plate to desired feel of the tilt mechanism. Gently pull the top of the TV down to the desired position. Do the opposite to tilt it up. For the cleanest, neatest installation, you can route your power and AV cables through the integrated cable management system. Fully extend the mount articulating arm. If your TV has a detachable type power cord, connect it to your TV now. Slide the cable channel covers off the articulating arm. Route your TV's power cord through the bottom cable channel. Route the AV cable from your wall, set top box, AV receiver, or other sources through the top channel and make connections to your TV. Slide the cable channel covers back into place. You'll hear a click when the cable channels are in place. Plug the TV power cord into an AC outlet. Avoid running power and AV cables in the same channel, as this may cause electrical interference that can affect picture and sound quality. Now congratulate yourself on successfully installing your monster flat screen super thin articulating mounts.